15 credit hours on his schedule right now. Not a tall task for him. So he's taking classes such as control and integration of mid-domain dynamic systems. Something that might be hard for me, but definitely, definitely. Right now. Seventh year on the staff as the defensive coordinator for Brent Venables. Gibson on the carry. He's going to lose one. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, you can name whoever you want to. Dexter Lawrence, number 90, is a beast of a player. Defeats the block and then just wraps the back up. Literally tackled uh, Cobra the center and, and the back at the same time, Dirks. Some more head to backs with Harris Roberts. Up past the fourth. Jamar Lincoln, number 12, Dave, is in for the Paladins. Redshirt freshman from Wake Cross, Georgia. Dual threat guy, ball on the ground. From All-American a year ago, and you see the tackles for loss. He camps out in your backfield. That throw will sail into the Furman bench from Harris Ryder defense. Third and 13 for the Paladins. Pressure. Lincoln got away up near the 40. And they'll mark him near the 42-yard line as Wallace had to make the tackle. 21 yards on the play by Jamar Lincoln. Well, Lincoln does an excellent job of sidestepping stepping the blitz. Clemson comes with six rushers, and right there, he steps by the blitz, and there's nobody at the second level because he just ran by both those guys in the back. The redshirt freshman, Jamar Lincoln, in on the second series for the pound and wants to toss this one. Took a hit. Flags are out as the play was made at the 30-yard line. Thomas Gordon was the receiver for the Paladin. A year head coach, Clay Hendricks, sees his team move the ball to the Clemson 43-yard line. Lincoln cut down at the 45. Harris Roberts was the quarterback for the first series. They've gone to the red shirt. Freshman Lincoln trying to escape the orange pressure. And he gets upended. Kayvon Wallace making the hit. Well, it's a good play by Wallace. It's a really good play by Lincoln. Cleveland Farrell's loose again in the backfield. This is why Lincoln's in the game, because his ability to run and avoid the pressure. But Wallace comes up from the safety spot and a textbook tackle to put the quarterback on the ground. He says, uh-uh, not here. Pass by Kelly Bryant. That snap is high, and bouncing back inside the 30. Lincoln running back to get it. Player. Yeah, that Tennessee team in 98, Dave, 13-0 and, and beat Florida State 26-16 in the Fiesta Bowl. And now play Hendricks, the coach of the year in the SoCon last season, 8-5 on the year and 6-2 and in conference play. That is Dirks for a modest. The Hokies have been in Tallahassee since 2008. That will be Monday. That one floating up near midfield and caught. Thomas Gordon makes it. Raycom Sports. Tom Wormy, Dave Archer, Larisha Harris joining us for her first season of college football on Raycom. The talented production and technical team. Second and six. Win to the left side. He got one. Last year in total offense, 424 yards per game. On third down out to win near the 40. And all of his friends enjoying college football on a Saturday in that Clemson Life program. On fourth down for the Paladins. Wilkins stops the ball carrier short. No gain on the play, and the ball goes back to the Tigers. Well, it went back to the play that paid him off the last fourth down play. They ran the option play, let Lincoln carry it, but Christian Wilkins, just a monster, comes down the line. He's for a living, and, and now he's the professor, the graduate student. Pass complete. Sanders. Ball popped out at the end of the play, but Sanders was down the third Furman quarterback of the afternoon, 6'4", 190 pounds, and a freshman for the Paladins. Flips it out to Bell. Near the first down marker for Bell, who just keeps on going. We've seen Roberts, Lincoln, and now Granger. Dirks into the line. And for the Paladins inside of seven and a half minutes to go. 
Touchdown pass from Kelly Bryant. Couple of field goals from Greg Hugel. That's your scoring for the Tigers. That is complete to Bell near midfield. He loses his helmet. And he's close to... Moorhead. There is no game. This year. Big win against the Miami Hurricanes, 38-3 in Charlotte a season ago in that title game. That passed too far for everyone. Cam first, Syracuse and Duke have already posted victories in the ACC this week. Third and long. Darren Granger, freshman quarterback for the Paladins. In on first down. Ball at about the 12 and a half yard line. There are multiple penalty flags on the field. Yeah, two guys moving at the same time and didn't get back set. So that's going to be another flag against this Furman offense. He's a redshirt freshman. Up near the 20 yard line is Corey Watkins, number 30. Four of those kids come back, and obviously a couple of them come to the Ghana National Football League. All four were pretty. Shaq Smith. Yeah, lots of five. Redshirt freshman Shaq Smith does a nice job of kind of reading this late. They fake the toss and try to catch Clemson with their speed going the wrong direction, but Shaq Smith read his keys, stayed at home. How about that? A redshirt freshman who just checks into the Falcons, but uh, I don't know if there's actual video. There may be some archival photos of Richard those days. Dave got into the Hall of Fame just simply tackling me through the years. Dave Archer, one of the more rugged players in the history of the NFL. First and ten from the 25. Lincoln tries to turn it upfield and gets nothing. Trey, main guys on the field, the number one starting unit. This is Lincoln up near the 30-yard line. And now third and five on the opening series for Furman and White. Lincoln cannot connect with his man beyond the 50. Burnett, there is a penalty pass interference. Just 30 yards allowed by the Tiger D through the air in the first half. But after the penalty, the ball spotted at the Furman 45-yard line, first and 10. And through the line, up close to midfield is Ridge Gibson. The senior Miami will take on LSU. Number one Alabama takes on Louisville. We take you right through Monday and then next Saturday we go prime time the field. They even had to move a guy over from defense and Justin Harris to play right guard, but they they've done it as solid job as they can. Third and six and the play goes nowhere. Lawrence and Wilkins with a planned official loan shopping partner of the ACC. Darren Granger is in at quarterback for the Paladins. Granger wants to unload one near sideline. The receiver stumbled down. That was 88. Dewan. Terrell and Terrell and Mullen on the outside. Two outstanding corners. Brett Venables loves these two guys. Roberts, Lincoln, and Granger have all seen action today at the quarterback position for the Furman Paladins. I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> Plenty of heat transfer today as temperatures climb into the low 90s. And yeah, it very close uh, to do as well. But what an impressive kid. 366 grade point average. When it's all done, he'll get degrees from both Furman and Clemson when he completes that program. Sanders on the run, and we go to Charlotte and our studios with Katie. At our meeting with him, the defensive coordinator Clemson, he says these it's tough to prepare for these option teams, the teams that run it extremely well. Three carries and 30 yards rushing for Watkins. They'll try to mix it up on the Tigers again. This is Bell who gets spun to the turf. The conference that includes a 1988 national championship in what was then 1AA. Granger pulled to the turf in the third sec of the game for the Clemson Tigers. Senior, he's been around a long time. Played in 33 games here as a Clemson Tiger. Previous play was a loss of eight. Granger. Just cannot get around. We've had some issues with that today. That ball's on the turf. Over the four. Pets has not allowed him to make any plays. Gibson on a run for three. Third and long for the Paladins. Ball comes out. 
Tigers think they have it, and they do. At the 11. Yeah, it looked like he just dropped the football, Tom. Just kind of squirted out on him. Another freshman, Braylon Spector, is number 10, is going to come out of there with a the ball. Let's take a look what happens here. Just got kind of arm raked on the ground, or got raked out, and he could not get back to it. Looked like Spector might have got the got the strip. He's the guy that got the strip on the play and the recovery. An old Eastern football rivalry, UMass and Boston College. Yeah, and they've always had defense at Boston College. I think this year they've got some offense to match it. Yeah. There we go. Now getting an opportunity to play some safety. Oh! Second down, the ball is on the turf, and it's going back to the five. Devin Wynn. Felt the brunt. Another freshman. This is going to be Jordan Williams, number 59. He's going to blow them up right there. 59, Jordan Williams knocks the ball out. And then number three freshman is Xavier Thomas makes the tackle. Tom, this is unbelievable. I mean, pulling out onto off the sideline that have been guys waiting in the wings to play. That was a loss of 13 yards. Nothing happened at the 10 yard line. Maybe two. Deion Sanders, the junior from Franklin, Tennessee, also threw that 40 yard touchdown pass. Corey Watkins turned back. They just keep throwing out there and playing at a high level. They don't step any, any back. Granger. And he's got a big arm, 6'4, 195 pounds. Got 11 yards on that previous run. Wants to roll that pocket to the near side. Took a shot as he got rid of it. Pressure was coming. The Boston sledgehammer bringing the noise for the Eagles. This a breakaway run by Deion Sanders. He won't win the race, but he'll get down near the 20. The June that play, the longest play from scrimmage in the afternoon. For the Furman Paladins. Tigers defense sets the standard there. Very out in front. See if Furman can find a way here, Tom, to make a play against this young crew. Not on this occasion as Gibson is denied. It's going to be a loss. It'll be no gain on the play for Gibson. Now won 30 of their last 31 games and 47, Dave of their last 50 here on this field. Wow. Granger. Ball pops out inside the 10. The coverage by the Tigers. All season day, they've given up three today to superior competition. Well, and Tom, I think the quarterback has just prevented it from number from being bigger, so you're exactly right. Long pass play. Flag comes out, two of them in fact. And I know you got a chance, I got charged talking to him, Tom, how intense he is. In fact, Tony Elliott, the co-offensive coordinator. Anticipation, desire, and fire when you're playing on D for Venables. Good play, Flo. McCuse could not make a long field goal to tie it up and send us to overtime. That was the first home win of the year for Florida State last season. Over the middle into the end zone. It's a touchdown, Furman, Ryan DeLuca, number 83, 16 yards for the sophomore from Fort Mills. 